Last time we were able to customize our bottom navigation view so that we click on it. It doesn't give that stupid animation and it will actually highlight the correct icon. Now we're gonna add um, navigation, actually add navigation to it. So it'll navigate to different activities. And the first thing we'll need to do in order to do that is to actually create those activities. So I'm gonna go and create a bunch of new activities. The first one will be search activity. If you're wondering why I'm doing it in the order that I'm doing, this is home activity, that search activity, that'll be share activity, that'll be likes activity, and this one is gonna be profile activity. So that they actually are meaningful. And so we'll just extend app compact activity, and we'll type the log, and then do alt insert. So just press the alt button and then insert button, and we'll go down to override methods, start typing on create. And you can see it's highlighting on create right here hit enter and it will bring us on create. I'm going to set content view to r.layout to activity home just for now because we're not going to actually um, build the separate layout files yet. I just want to make sure that the navigation itself is working and whoops, I'm going to do log d and just type start it so that I know that the activity was actually successfully started. And just like home activity, it's going to use the exact same bottom navigation view. So what I'll do is I'll copy this method. This is why I made this method. It's so that I can easily just throw it inside of these activities. And then down here, I'll do set up bottom navigation view. So I don't really have to do anything. Um, the tags will change and this is just, this will be all good. So now that I've made search activity, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm just going to select search activity. I'm going to go control C to copy it and paste it in here and I'm just going to rename this one this one's going to be share activity and the only thing I need to change is I need to copy that change the tag and that's it so that's 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 why I did it the way that I did because now I can just copy these activities and there's not a whole bunch of code that I have to write each time so once again just I, I don't even need to copy it but I'm just going to paste again and here this one's going to be um, uh, likes activity and the only thing I need to change is take take the name up here and replace the tag and that's good so copy it again paste and the last one is pro, oops, profile activity and all I need to change is the tag and that's it so now I have my activities created and um, if you're familiar with Android you'll know that every time you need to create every time you create an activity you need to add it to the manifest so let's go into our manifest and go uh, click on the end of activity here just gonna start typing activity and we can see we need to uh, get likes activity in there and then do another one we'll do profile activity and another one for search activity and last one for share activity okay we have all of our activities in there we can close the manifest if I didn't do that and I ran the app whenever I navigated to the activity it would crash so very important that you do that. Now we're gonna go into our bottom navigation view helper and we're gonna set up uh, how we're gonna be navigating between activities. So um, we'll just do public, static, void, enable navigation, and we're gonna need the context. Uh, I already know what these are ahead of time, obviously, because I've done this ahead of time, um, but it wouldn't be uh, difficult for you to figure that out on your own if you're doing this first time. So now we're going to set an on navigation item selected listener and do new on item. So to get this menu pop up, you just type capital O N and you can see this little green, uh, this little green thing right here. That means it's an interface and it will implement a whole bunch of methods for you. So just click enter on that. And um, I'm not actually sure what that return is for, but we'll leave it as false. And if it doesn't work, then we'll come back to it. So this is where we're going to put a switch statement for navigating to the different activities. So we just go item dot get item ID and open up the switch statement and then we have five cases. The first case is for our IC, whoops, got to import that, IC house and uh, we're going to need a break and then the second one r dot ID dot IC search and we're going to need a break. So we do case r dot ID dot circle this time and break case r to id dot and this one's alert break and last one case r to id dot uh, ic android and then break and 
going inside each one of these, I need to put in tents and um, navigate to the relative activities. So we'll import the intent library there. This is going to be intent one, uh, new intent, and we're going to pass the context. That's why I added the context up here, and that's also why I made it final because if it's not if it's not final, you can't reference it inside of this override method. So I need to make it final so that I can actually reference it. And then um, we're going to be navigating to home activity. The home activity, whoops, home activity class. Oops. And then start. Oh, we need to reference the context, so we do context dot start activity and pass intent one. Uh, normally, when you start an activity, you don't need to reference the context. You can just do that. But because we're inside of another object class, the bottom navigation view helper class, it needs to know what context you're going to be um, referencing it from. So uh, yeah, now we're just going to do the exact same thing for each one. So intent intent two equals new intent, and once again the context. And this one is search activity dot class. I'm doing it in the exact same order. Then context start activity pass the intent two and go down to the next one intent intent three equals new intent context and this one what was it share share activity class and then context start activity intent three and go down and intent intent four intent oops context this one is likes activity dot class and context start activity and four. The last one intent intent five equals new intent context and uh, what is it profile activity class context start activity that is not start activity start activity and five. Oh, what happened there? Okay. And just to be clear, um, so this context thing, you're probably like, oh, that's weird. Um, but if I was to go into here and I was to create an intent, I'll just copy it because I don't want to type it out. I'm just going to copy this, put it here. Um, you wouldn't need this, right? Like you'd have home activity dot this, and this is not necessary. You just do start activity. But because I'm in an object class, it doesn't know this doesn't have any context. It doesn't know where it's coming from or anything like that. So you need to make sure that you reference the context. Um, but in a regular situation, just in an activity, you don't need to do that. So just a little explanation there. And that should be good. Now we just need to actually enable navigation in each one of the activities. So we'll start with home activity and I'll just do bottom navigation view helper dot enable navigation. And we need to pass the context. So home activity dot this and we need to pass the bottom navigation view. So there we go. So now navigation will be enabled in home activity. But we need to do this, actually I can just copy this whole method. We need to do this exact same thing in each one of these activities. So we're going to uh, likes activity, copy the whole thing, and we just need to change that. Actually what I, yeah, let's do that. Profile activity there, and then change the context. Or you know what I could do actually to make it easier. Let's do private uh, context and context and import the context and set it up here equals profile activity dot this and then I'm just going to pass this context. So I'll do that for each one of these. So go back to home activity and do private. I should have done this at the start because it saves uh, saves repeating code. So context context equals home activity about this import the context and now I'll just pass this down here and we'll go now we'll go into likes activity and we'll do the exact same thing private context and context oops, equals likes activity about this and same thing now all I need to do is I can just copy this exact same method in each one so Go into search activity. I don't need to change anything. I just paste it, and I do private context and context equals search 
activity dot this done copy this whole thing and we'll go back into share activity now paste that in there I'm um, not sure what just happened there there we go and private context and context equals share activity dot this there we go so now all the activities should have navigation set up in them. So let's run it and test it. Okay, let's click on search activity. Okay, yeah, it looks, it, the activity changed, you saw it, but it's not highlighting the correct icon. So navigation's working, but the, the icons aren't being highlighted. So we just need to make, we just need to make a, a simple change to fix that. So we'll go into, I'm just gonna go into home activity and we need to go menu, menu equals bottom navigation view ex dot get menu and import the menu library and then we're going to go menu item menu item equals menu dot get item and here is where we want to reference which activity we're going to be referring to so if in if we go into bottom navigation view here this is zero this is one this is two this is three and then this is four so we need to reference those so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a global variable up top. Well, let's do it here. We'll private static final integer activity number. And so this is going to be activity number zero. And then I'm just going to pass the activity number in there. And then we do a menu item dot set checked true. And then this, this will actually set it as checked. So what I need to do is now copy this method and put it in each one of these in there and highlight that and highlight. So I'm just, just pasting it in over and over again. So now all of these have the exact same uh, bottom navigation view um, uh, method, but this is red because I haven't declared this in each activity. So what I'll do is I'll copy that, paste that, but this is going to be activity number one or no wait a sec likes activity is yeah that's not number one likes activity is number three so go into likes activity and that's number three search activity let's paste that and double check which one search activity is that's going to be number one because this is i'll just label them here so activity activity number equals zero one two three four so we're on search activity i believe yeah search activity so that's going to be one and then what's share activity is two so we want to share activity and oops i didn't copy line paste that there and this is two and profile activity is five so paste that and put five there we go now we have a very generalized method. So each home activity, likes activity, search activity, share activity, and profile activity all have the exact same setup bottom navigation view uh, method. The only way they vary is with the context and then the activity number, which we have declared up in these global variables up here. So that should be good now. It should actually highlight the correct uh, icon. So let's run it and take a look. Okay, let's click on Search activity, yep, yeah, it changed activities and you can see that it did highlight the correct one, highlights the correct one, highlights the correct one, and crashes. <laughs> How did it crash on the last one? Oh man, check out the Android monitor, that's weird. Um, invalid index? Oh, I set it to five, it's four, that's what it is. My bad, did I put it four here? Yeah, okay, so that should be good now. Just rerun that quickly. Just gonna check the last one. There we go. Okay, so that's that's gonna be it for this video. We now have our navigation successfully navigating to different activities on the bottom. Um, the bar looks good. It's it's exactly how we want it to look, and it's actually highlighting the correct icons. So in the next one, I will set up the tabs for the top for in the home screen because um, Instagram actually only has tabs in the top for this one screen. It doesn't have them for them all. So we're gonna uh, have to create separate activities for these. But we'll uh, do that in the next video.